at the time I was 29 and you know for me was it was it was the plan was to start a family buy a house you know progress in my career um, never did never did lung cancer especially an incurable diagnosis come to mind I was um, diagnosed with uh, stage 4 lung cancer back in uh, April last year 2018 my GP had no idea, she never put the symptoms together to ever conclude that it would be lung cancer at all. Illness and disease, let alone cancer, is very much taboo subjects and not discussed in black and Asian minority communities. Um, we set, we, there, there tends to be a lot of stigma around what disease means. I'm quite open about talking about lung cancer because I think I needed to, um, um, I needed to accept the diagnosis myself. I took the news quite badly obviously I was running two businesses at the time and I just thought how can you know my life was just starting I was just getting to know myself being so young obviously you're in the hospital and you see uh, the faces and they don't relate to you they weren't kind of my tribe essentially so I kind of like seeked my own tribe online and so I have a blog called uh, coincancer.com um, which I started actually um, after being diagnosed the writing really just helped me kind of make sense of everything. For me, I didn't want to just be lumbered into a cancer patient role, which people were actually like, you know what, oh yes, yeah, game over for you, love. But actually, no, you know, you can live well with it and you can live purposefully with it. And I think that's what I wanted to prove to myself.